first of all, tell us, uh, let us know that uh, how does it feel to be associated with that? Uh, first, I would like to congratulate Selenex coming back or re-entering in the beauty and wellness industry, which is much more wider, much more growing industry. And when they had party, they had again. You have to take it. Uh, that. <laughs> I would like to congratulate to Selenex for the re-entering in the beauty and wellness industry which is much more wider and growing and happening industry compared to the when they had participated or they had organized the first exhibition in the beauty industry in 1996. So industry players, Ms. Salunex, they already are experienced and they are already experienced and they are already in this industry from many years. That's the reason I would like to participate with them. I would like to support them because they have the quite wide experience and they are well connected with the industry. And I'm sure in the April when they are organizing the 19th and 17th and 19th, 17th and 19th of 17th and 19th April, they will be bringing the all industry players together and nice and pleasant ideas they have that is about the competitions, about the classrooms and about the new bringing the technologies in the industry. So I'm sure they will be doing much more wider way and much more faster and strong way what they have done or what they have did in the 1996. So I am congratulating them and I'm full place, I'm supporting them and I want to be with them to bring something new for the industry. How you are going to be contribute to the show? I'm just trying my best to give them the idea what is happening in the industry today and uh, how exhibitions are uh, conducted and, and what is going on in the exhibition and how industry is expecting from the, what industry is expecting from the exhibition. Uh, mostly we'll see the all these saloon owners or spa owners, they really want to see something new technology or something uh, uh, new coming from the abroad, any brands are bringing new technology or new theme to the uh, Indian market and that's how I am helping them, what is happening internationally and what is happening in the Indian market. So that's why I am helping them, what is going on. And what can one like, you know, look forward to the beauty and the health? Uh, in 2017, you know the changes or something uh, in the year 2017 uh, through the show. Sorry, can, can you just come back? Uh, what were the changes to be looked forward to in this 2017 year according to the you know, beauty and the health of the consumer? See, beauty and wellness industry is in the growing phase today. It's a strongly growing phase. If you see the five rising sectors in India, so uh, uh, even though the Skill India is uh, announcing the beauty and wellness is one of the fast growth, growing industry today. Uh, where we see the, uh, uh, being as an industry uh, players, uh, we see the lot of growth in the as all aspect, uh, including the skill labor, including the education, including the uh, uh, brand awareness, including the service awareness and service uh, uh, technology. So all these things is you know is a uh, upcoming and growing and growing uh, uh, area. So I see the. Uh, Upcoming this like you know this another three years is a fast growth what I am seeing in the industry uh, is the product wise the retailing market in the uh, beauty industry uh, and then then service are uh, of course is uh, again the new technology and especially in the beauty industry I see the lot of growth because earlier saloons were only focusing for the hair and only for the small portion of the beauty but today i see the 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 ratio of these both uh, areas has increased like you know 50 percent is the hair and 50 percent is beauty so see the lot of growth that that aspect uh, new technology of course is growing very fast uh, and and 
uh, skilling is 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 there's a booming again area where most of the academy has come forward and they are opening the uh, academies as earlier beauty salons were opening more now i see the lot of academies are opening so this is the balancing now you know balancing the industry today the so, academy and service industry together so lot of growth in future and now also is going on so growth is there okay thank you so much thank you hands across the country skin brand she's conducted lots of seminars and she's also part of the uh, I think uh, understanding, I mean, I've been in the industry for 17 years now, and uh, even when I started, uh, there wasn't so much available for us. And what has changed in so many years is education. And uh, that's the only thing which will also change the future. Uh, rightly mentioned, uh, earlier this was a very uh, traditional, uh, you know, where hairdressers came in from families where they were barbers, and that's how generation hairdressers came in. Today, it's a choice a youngster makes to choose that as a career because the face of beauty and hair has completely changed. Uh, you know, it is the most upcoming thing and uh, it's, it's related to fashion which is directly related to your, um, you know, you could call your Bollywood, your Hollywood and you know, it's, it's a very, very high fashion kind of uh, industry. And which is why it's it's great that platforms like Salon X are here to empower uh, you know people who want to be a part of this industry and educate existing hairdressers from smaller towns that do not get the opportunity to come and learn. So yeah, thanks to Salon X, and uh, you know we we'll continue to do these great uh, work. Is there any other question? Thanks Thank you very much. Thank and, uh, you. What are the behind the years? I think the beauty industry in India has also grown. Government has opened up the businesses and a lot of brands today are looking at India. There is a great potential that India has. India is a population of 1.2 billion. That's 1.2 billion heads, 1.2 billion faces, and that's a big, big business that can happen. After America, I think we are probably the biggest beauty, uh, potential of the biggest beauty business. Sir, so, um, what are the changes which you know, that sees, like, you know, from 1997 to 2017? I think the consciousness. Today, every young, middle-aged, old person is conscious of looking good, of looking nice, of being well-groomed. That, I think, has been a big, big change. No longer people want to use that dhai, malai formula that they used to use at home. Today, people are wanting to go to a salon for a facial, wanting to go to a salon for a hairdo, for a, for a party, they want to go for a makeup event. So, there is a huge change in consciousness. Okay. Salon X, how do you see this growth? Okay. Um, so I have been associated with Salon X for over a year now and um, I have been associated with education more importantly for over eight and a half years now. I've been educating hairdressers and I've already educated over 10,000 hairdressers all across the country in Southeast Asia. Also, um, you know why my association with Salon X is because uh, they believe in education and the only way that we can change the industry or we can bring about a greater change or evolvement in this industry will be through education. And uh, because my core belief is education and Salon X believes in it so, uh, that's how the association and uh, I think they're doing a great job and uh, we will continue to uh, do this great job together. How see the new industry is increasing because more and more you using now fairness creams every day using these services. How you see the industry growing point, point of view next five years? See, industry is growing at a very rapid speed, not just from now but from the last five years. It has been a huge change with the kind of products that have come in, with the kind of companies that have come in, with the kind of technology that has come in. It's only growing and it's going to grow greater stages from now on. Do you think that we have a less awareness regarding the products related to saloons? Awareness, um, consumer awareness. 
We don't. In fact, I believe that in today's day and age, there is a lot of awareness. The way that the products have been launched and the way companies are launching their products, they have created great awareness. There is great education that is coming with it. So we have to give the credit to these companies that are coming in and also educating every individual, be it a beautician, be it a hairstylist, or be it a cosmetologist. They are all getting educated. So I think that it's it's great and they're only moving way forward. How do you see the Salonix next five years? Salon X, with the way it's going in the next five years, is going to be one of the biggest uh, event shows uh, for beauty and hair industry and spa industry, of course. So they are going to be the biggest in terms of education and training, which is the next big thing. Thank you so much. Um, Ma'am, can you tell us about yours associated with Salonex and how you see the Salonex as a company as a providing us the services? See, I am on the board as a skin expert. As uh, Salonex is a exhibitors who are having a good experience in this field, especially the beauty field, because they were established their office in 1996. And I have uh, witnessed their shows, how they were educated. So I thought, let me be a part of this Salon X. So we can see that education takes place everywhere within the beautician skin, hair, beauty, and makeup. Because these are the essential things to uh, bring revenue in their salons. How do you see the next five years of Salon X and how see the industry will grow? grow? Because they, they Salon X do a lot of education, consumer awareness. So how do you see the Salon X? Salon X is trying best to bring the good educators, good talk shows, good technicians, good experts to have the talk with the beauticians. So naturally this is going to happen in a very good way. My pleasure. What is going to be your contribution to the show? <laughs> okay, my contribution will be upgrading the beauticians for skin. They should know the functions of the skin, the layers of the skin, the disorders of the skin, and then only they can repair the skin. It is not the utha kit and do the facial. It will be a uh, totally treatmental skin treatments in the salon, and that is my role to teach them. Okay, so what one can see the you know, trend from 2017 in the beauty and the health industry. 2017. Yeah, yeah. The, all the beauticians will come the aesthetician according to me all the hairdressers will come the hair experts in the 2017 <laughs> my pleasure Vakit. I entered the industry in 2005. Uh, yeah, I, will, I actually came into the industry in which is a global figure for uh, you know for uh, grooming in the western world india spends 60 cents per person so you know the scope it's huge and humongous and people are now some of the products they use at home but a lot of it they wish to go to salons because salons give them me time it gives them time for themselves it's not that you can't do a facial or a, a manicure pedicure in this at home but you would prefer to do it at a salon because that's an environment you would like to go to. But even that is challenged with the coming of home services and uh, such other things with kids which are, you know, at home kids. So a lot of activity in the industry and that's very important as our salon professional trends which are happening. World has become very small thanks to internet and uh, everybody knows what's happening in the West. We know what Kate Winslet is wearing. We know what, uh, you know, any other singer or any uh, Beyonce And this is 
and there's this fairness angle. Everybody wants to be fair in India. So a lot of work that the salons are doing, but they need to be educated because making you fair by using a wrong chemical is again dangerous. So it is very important that the salons get this education and hence I find Salonex to be a great platform where these things will be discussed and surely we should be able to get some huge benefit. I like to be associated with it because I love the education part of it. Do you think the government is providing uh, from the government point of view, I am talking about the like, taxes, they are providing both lower taxes, encouraging the, this industry? Till very recently, the business was looked as a luxury industry. But our industry has, thought, has spoken to the and now the National Skill Development Council has now looked on it as a skill that will help to employ more and more people. Fortunately, have been a part of the whole process. So we have developed something called the Beauty and Wellness Sector Skill Council, which is under the NSDC. And we've got funding now from the government to promote this. So we are now doing road shows where we'll be promoting this certification. So there will be a minimum certification, just like, you know, if you want to do a, uh, you know, you want to go to... For the engine itself, you have to be a 12 standard. Similarly, there will be some minimums that will come in and that will bring a lot of orderliness to this industry. Thank you. How does it feel being part of Salonics? Uh, firstly, you know, it, I find it very privileged. I mean, I find very privileged because this is the first, it's a pioneering effort. So I, I definitely wanted to be a part of it. And I feel great because this is a holistic event. It is not just an exhibition. So there is a lot of importance given to education and training and uh, that's where my heart is. So I'm definitely and very interested in. And what are your contributions going to be the, to this room? I am on the board of advisors. Here, here, just a second. Here. Yeah, thank you.